I wanted to do a quick video on Docker networking because some people have been asking me about how to do um, the container reference names that I've been talking about earlier that I showed on some other videos. So let's start by talking about the apps that I have. So I have this Docker set up right now on my TrueNAS system and I've got some things set up here. So let's say for example, in my R stack. Now I have this all set up as different apps, which is super convenient because from within the apps, for example, let me pop open one of these. Um, within the apps, for example, like my download client, right? You'll notice my download client here is just, it, there's no there's no IP name here uh, at all. And you'll see that it checks out, it works. So the question is, how did I type in a name where the IP address is supposed to go? And the answer to that is Docker networking. So let me come over here to my shell and I'm gonna show you guys some stuff in the shell first. I'm gonna show you some visuals of this. Okay, so let's do admin. So let's talk about Docker network. Docker network is the command that shows you all the Docker networks that exist, right? So in this case, I launched a container called RStack. So this right here, this network ID is what I need. So I'm gonna highlight that by double clicking it. I'm gonna hit control and insert, that's copy. And I'm gonna do a Docker network inspect, and I'm gonna paste by hitting shift insert. This list right here shows you all the things that are in that Docker network. Flare Solver, Jellyfin, Radar, Jelly CRQ, all these things. These are all on the same network. And because they're all on the same network, I don't have to actually type in 10.99.0.191 uh, colon and then it's IP. I can just type in Jelly Seer and Radar knows what that is. And Qubit, all these things know what the other one is. All I have to do is just type in the name which is way easier. And then the benefit to that is in the event my TrueNOS server, for whatever reason, changes IP addresses, I now do not have to go into every single container and change all the IP addresses across all the containers because it's looking for the name instead of the IP. The IP could be whatever it wants to be and all the containers are still work and function and talk to each other. So the question is, how did this happen? Um, it's really easy. If you have everything in a single compose.yaml, uh, it'll do that by default. That's the default behavior of Docker. It'll all go on the same network. The problem with this is it makes your logs really, really messy. Unless you're using something like Dozzle, which I recommend you do, um, you're gonna get a huge cluster of logs. Uh, so if people just, and maybe you just don't even wanna do that. The other downside to this is anytime I edit this YAML and I have to restart it, I'm now restarting all these containers. And maybe I don't wanna do that. Maybe I just wanna restart one of these containers. I don't have the ability through dockage at least to do that the way it is, especially if I need to edit this compose file, that's gonna create problems. So a lot of people create their containers in separate stacks uh, and then do it like that. But if you create them in separate stacks and you have it with all these networks, every single one of these containers is gonna end up on its own independent network and they won't be able to talk to each other using their name, only their IP. So then the question becomes, how do I put them all on one network if I wanna deploy them all separately, which is actually what I do. So you can do that in a couple ways. Let's come back out to our shell. So we can do a not, uh, an, we just do the command line. So I can do a Docker, let's say for example, I already added Umami to this. So let's say I wanna remove that Docker because I'm gonna show you guys. Network, I think, what's the command here? So it's gonna be disconnect. See, I would just type in Docker network, it tells me how to use it. So it's gonna be Docker network disconnect. Um, so it's gonna be the network name and then the container that I want to disconnect, just like that. So now let's come back up and do a network inspect. And you'll see Umami is gone. It used to be there and there, it's not. So I can do a simple Docker network. So let's do another Docker network and I'll show you guys some commands that exist. Uh, connect and disconnect and create are pretty good ones. So I can create my own network and say, hey, I want to create a network called whatever. And then I want to connect all these containers to it. And I can do it just like that, it's very simple. Um, so this is really cool. So Connect, create, and disconnect are probably the three most common commands. So it'd be Docker, network, uh, connect, and then the name of the network, and then the container uh, ID or name. So let's say, for example, let's come back into my dockage. Um, I want to connect Unpack. So I, I connect, I used Unpacker as a separate um, compose file, and that's no good. So let's say I want to connect this to my network so I can use the special names. I'm going to come back into here and I can do this in a couple ways. I'm gonna show you how to do it through the command line. So it's gonna be Docker, network, connect, the network name. In this case, I wanna I want be, oh, I wanna use Unpacker. Boom, now it's done. So let's do an inspect. Where's Unpacker? 
There it is. So now it's connected. So I can now use within Impacker in my Docker Compose file, instead of me coming over here and typing in the address, where would it go? See how I have the network addresses here? I wouldn't need that anymore. I could just type in radar and sonar here and it would automatically find it, which is really cool. Um, so let's remove that. Connect, so now I want to disconnect. Disconnect. Now let's come back in here and inspect it again. And you'll see that, look at that, unpacker is gone. So that's a lot of command line. Let's talk about dockage. Dockage is great, but it's not that great. This is still under development. So when I come in here and I edit unpacker, you notice here it has these internal networks down here. It'd be really cool if this works. So if I should just hit this switch, and now when I deploy this, it should automatically add it to that stack. So deploy. Now when I come back here and do a network inspect, you'll notice Unpacker is not in here. Why is Unpacker not in here? Because Dockage isn't really working like this yet. This little switch down here did absolutely nothing. Now, I hope eventually in the future that's going to work. So I'm just going to take this off and I'm going to redeploy. I really hope that does work in the future. Um, and I'll show you, I'll do another Docker network inspect. The command line is the ultimate level of truth. If the command line says it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. Don't trust the GUI in certain cases. Uh, and this is one of those reasons why. So here you go. Uh, it's not there. So there's a way to do this in Portainer, which is the way that I do it. I like it a lot more in Portainer. Portainer is a much more polished product, but it's a lot more complicated. But I'm just going to show you it real fast. So let's come over here to, what did I say, Unpacker. Let's come over here. All, there we go. Unpacker. So I'm going to click into Unpacker. You're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says Connected Network. So if I want to join a network, I'm going to say, hey, I want to join the R stack network. Join network. Come all the way to the bottom. Here it is. Now I'm in... A, I'm in two networks. I'm in the Unpacker default network and I'm in the R stack. How do I know I'm in the R stack? Let's inspect it. Unpacker right there. So you see how that works? So that's that's how I use Portainer. And this is one of the reasons I use Portainer and Dockage at the same time. Because I mean, once Dockage gets this function working, uh, I'm going to use Dockage and we use that for my networks. But right now it's not working. So I can either do two ways. I can do the command line, uh, just like I did here in TrueNOS. Or I can do this within Portainer and then change my networks. Here's a warning. I will show you what's going to happen here. If I stop this container, which I can, um, and then I start it again, which I can. Uh, let's come back out here. So sometimes this happens where, see that worked. If I edit, I can't even edit this right now, but long story short, um, a lot of times when I edit a stack, so let's, let me see if I can do that over here. Let's look at Unpacker. Let's edit you Unpacker. I'm going to change this to, what is this? This is sonar. So watch, I'm going to change this to sonar. And I'm going to change this to radar. Once it's actually on the network. Okay. Let's redeploy this. Deploy. Come. Let's go back to Portainer. Let's go back to Dashboard, Containers. Let's look at Unpacker. Let's go all the way to the bottom. You'll notice here it kicked me off the network. It was connected a second ago. But if I come in here and dock it, into Dockage and I edit the and I didn't even change any of the network settings. I just changed some of the things here for the internal um, URLs of Sonar and Radar. Uh, just by changing that, um, which should have nothing to do with the networks, for whatever reason, Portainer kicks it off the network. So what happens is, and you may notice if you do this, you're going to have to come back in here and reselect the network and then rejoin uh, for, this to, for this to happen, which is a super annoying thing to do. The better way to do this would be to build this directly into the Docker Compose file where I set the networks down here. This way, in the event that I need to edit this container, uh, it joins the network. So there, there's another way to do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys some quick Docker networking just to kind of show you some cool things you can do in terms of making things talk to one another. So within now that I did that and it's joined, you should be able to see... In the logs here, it didn't work there, so I'm going to do a restart. I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Restart. Yeah. And I thought I had Dazzle on here, but I guess I don't. But long story short, now that I have this labeled here and that labeled here and Portainer, I join the network all the way down here, I should be able to reach them uh, through here. And that's basically how it works. So in my R stack, because I have that, let me come into Radar, for example. Maybe this will work. 
there it is. So really cool thing I did. I'm in radar and just by typing in ping unpacker, notice I didn't type in any IP address it was able to receive from the container. This lets me know that because I can ping radar and unpacker on the same Docker network and they can talk to each other. So that's just a quick crash course on how to make your containers talk to each other using the name. This way you don't have to type in the IP all the time. There's more things you can do with advanced Docker networking. I'm not going to get into those, um, but yeah, that's just a quick discourse.